everybody, what's up, it's Nick here, and in this video I'm going to show you guys how to create your own Adobe icons. So uh, in this video I'm going to show you guys how to create your own custom Adobe icons. Now if you guys don't know what I'm talking about, I've got two icons right over here, like this one right here, and this one right here. Now as you notice, they both look a lot like Adobe icons. The one on the left looks a lot like the Adobe CS4 icons, and the one on the right looks a lot like the Adobe CS5 icons. So anyway, in this video I'm going to show you guys how to, a cool website that will go ahead and allow you to create icons for this very simple and for free. So uh, just to show you guys a comparison over here, this icon right here, the one on the left, looks like the CS4 icon, and over here I have the Adobe Photoshop CS4 icon down here at the bottom. As you can see, they sort of have a resemblance. Just like the uh, one on the right here ha looks like the CS5 icon, and here is what a uh, an example of a CS5 icon. So as you notice, they look sort of the same. So anyway, the website that I'm going to be showing you guys is a website called icon-generator.net or icon-generator.net. And as you notice here, we can go ahead and create our own icons. So over here, we can select an icon design. We can select the CS5. We can go ahead and uh, choose our own, and or we can go ahead and select the CS4 or a star badge. So if I want to go ahead and select the CS5 icon, over here under the, we have basic, advanced, save icons, update is Twitter icon, and then over here we have the different sizes of the icon. Overall you get a uh, 256 by 256 uh, icon size, you get a 128 by 128, a 48 by 48, 32 by 32, and 16 by 16 icon size. So you can go ahead and just type in a simple name and change your colors here, and then you get all of these different icons zipped up. So if I want to go ahead and change my logo name to, uh, let's say, 324, as you notice, 324 comes up here. Here under background color, we can go ahead and change the background color. So let's say I wanted to change it to black. And on the text color, I think I'll change it to uh, red, like that. But uh, that doesn't look good, so I think I'm going to choose a white. And as you notice, it looks like that. Uh, now, here under the Advanced tab, we can go ahead and choose the contrast, the glare, and the shadow. But I'm not going to do anything right here. So let's say this is the way I want to go ahead and keep my icon. So I'm just going to go down here and click on Save Icon. I'm going to save it to my desktop. And as you notice over here, it comes up into a zip file. So if I go ahead and unzip that, it'll come up to this right here. If I open that up, we have all of our icons here in all of the different sizes. So we have really small here and really big here and sort of normal there. So anyway, this looks like the Adobe CS5 icon. You can go ahead and customize those any way you want to. I'm just going to go ahead and delete those for right now. And now let's go down here and do create a CS4 icon. So I'm going to do the same thing and type in 324. And as you notice, it looks like a CS4 icon. We can go ahead and change the background color here, but unfortunately you can't change the text color. So if I wanted to make it black, it would be black. I wanted to make it green, it'd be green like that. And I can go ahead and click Save Icons. I'll save it to the desktop again. And I'll unzip them. As you notice, we have the different pack of icons, and they look like this. Now you can use this for your logo, you can use them for your avatar, or you can just use them to customize or change your icons. So over here, we have different samples over here. We have downloads, where you can go ahead and download Icon Generator Pro right here. But uh, I'm going to go ahead and just stick here. So anyway, if you guys want to go ahead and generate your own Adobe icons, you can do it here from icon-generator.net, which I'll post in the video's description. So anyway, this has been a really quick, simple tutorial on how to create your own Adobe icons for CS4 and CS5. Thanks a lot for watching, guys, and I'll see you guys in the next video.